Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the refrigerator evaporator fan motor in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver and a putty knife. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new refrigerator evaporator fan motor. The refrigerator evaporator fan motor is located in a fresh food compartment at the bottom behind the evaporator cover in the middle. It blows air through the evaporator coil and then circulates it throughout the compartment. If there is noise coming from the refrigerator compartment or the temperature rises above normal causing food spoilage and there is no air coming out of the air ducts, check and replace the refrigerator evaporator fan motor if needed. To get to the part, we're going to open both French doors. Now we're going to remove the crisper drawers, pull out, lift up and take out. Same on the right side, pull out, lift up and take out. Now we can remove these uh, crisper drawer support frame and lift it up and pull it out. Be careful, don't break the glass. Now we're going to remove these uh, four glass shelves, uh, lift up to front and uh, pull it out. Next we need to remove uh, two quarter inch screws. I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver that the screws are holding the uh, daily door cover. I'm going to lift up the front portion and we have a plug here that we will need to disconnect. So I'm going to press down on the locking tab and pull it apart. I'm going to stash it here for the time being and I'm going to remove this panel. I'm going to pull out the drawer slightly, a couple of inches. Then we're going to remove this second portion of the cover. Next I'm going to lift up and remove the drawer. Next we're going to remove this left side shelf and the drawer support. I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver and I'm going to insert it in this hole and uh, unscrew the mounting screw. Now I'm going to grab it and pull it forward. We will disengage one of the pins that holds that bracket. That's the pin I'm talking about and this is the cutout here that locks over the pin. Next we're going to remove this cover box. I'm going to use the uh, putty knife. I'm going to insert it right here and press on the locking tab and the box comes out. This is the tab that we're pressing. Next we're going to remove these five screws that hold the evaporator cover in place. They are quarter inch. I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver and we're going to take them out. Now we're going to tilt forward the evaporator cover just a couple of inches. That's far enough. Now we need to remove this uh, top cover. I'm going to use this putty knife. I'm going to insert it right here at the bottom. Push it in and disengage that clip at the back. So second one on this side. And lift it up and remove it. Next I'm going to take out these two quarter inch screws. Now I'm going to unplug this. Squeeze the side locks and uh, pull out. Now I'm going to remove this rear panel. I'm going to use the putty knife. I'm going to place it here in the seam. I'm 
Now we're going to go on the left side. And we can pull it off. Let's place this on the table. And the next thing we're going to do is to free the harness from this retainer. All right, I'm going to grab the harness and uh, press it down and pull it out at the same time. So now I'm going to turn it over and we're going to pull out the motor. All right, so now we're gonna remove this plastic cover. And save it for the new motor. Remember which way it was going on? See this tab and this tab here, and these two little ears. This is the old refrigerator evaporator fan motor next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. All right, I'm going to bring in a new motor. Remember those two ears? I'm going to install them this way. And this goes over, just like that. And we can slide it in. So let's install the uh, new fan motor. Goes in this way, the harness on this side. And those two ears are on the upper portion. Slide it in, and then we're going to pull the harness and just cut out here. Next would be putting the harness into the uh, retainer. And press it down a little bit and we can squeeze the wire in. Be patient, don't put too much force, don't break it. Now it's ready to go back in the fridge. We need to feed these two tabs into this two cutouts here. Push it in and down. Now I'm going to press the sides. And I would like to plug in this plug before we go any further. Push it in. Make sure it's locked. Now we're going to secure the panel with a couple of quarter inch screws. And now we're going to install this uh, top cover. I'm going from here, push it up and press down. And now we're going to push back the evaporator cover. All right, now we're going to secure the cover with uh, five quarter inch screws. Now we're going to place the cover box back on. Now we're going to install this uh, left side support. As I explained to you, we have this cutout and we have this pin over there. So I'm going to place it over.
and push it back. It plugs. And now I'm going to secure it with this uh, quarter inch screw. And we're going to install the drawer back in. This rail has to go under. Make sure that it's installed properly. Okay, now we're going to reinstall this uh, rear end of the cover. Remember, we need to have this uh, drawer a little bit out so it will fit there. And now we're going to bring in the front front panel. Okay, let's pull out this plug. And then I'm going to plug plug the panel in. And I'm going to again place the plug into this opening. And the harness. All right, and make sure the harness is in and that the opening also. And I'm going to install this front portion on. Match the holes. And I'm going to secure it with two quarter inch screws. We're going to install the glass shelves back in. And place the back hooks in. And press it down so the front will lock. Same thing here. All right, now I'm going to install the top shelves. All right, now I'm going to install the crisper drawer support. I'm going to place it on these rails. I'm going to place it on the rails, push it back, and uh, it's going to get into these cutouts at the bottom. So, And now we can install the crisper drawers in. I'm going to place it over the rollers, and then we can slide it in. Same thing. I'm going to place the rear end uh, re over the rollers and slide it in. And now we can close the doors. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please Check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.